while ago, I found this door at a garage sale and I bought it and installed it in my studio because the shapes on it inspired something in me. I got to work painstakingly covering the entire thing with pink paint. Then I got this beautiful Victorian inspired doorknob, which I put in place only to realize that there was a giant hole, my husband's fingers there to demonstrate, so we filled that in with wood epoxy and then I painted over it. I wanted each panel of the door to have a different color to it. I was having a lot of fun with this, but it was painstaking to say the least, and I needed to get some tape involved, which didn't really help very much. It kind of just pulled on things and left paint chips. Isn't she ugly? Since the tape wasn't being any help to me, I decided that I was just going to start freehanding things and get as creative as I possibly could to cover up any mistakes. Because that's generally how we deal with things. Just put some extra glitter on it, it'll be fine. My art style tends to err on the side of haunted rainbow botanicals, and that's the theme that we are going for here because this is in my studio. And I can honestly say, despite the hiccups, that this is probably one of my favorite things that I have ever made. It was really fun turning this nasty old door into something beautiful and interesting, kind of like when I put makeup on. Let me know which of these little windows you like the most. Okay, I love you, bye!